Ace Freaking Combat. Undoubtedly, one of the video game sagas with the best orchestrations I ever heard in my life. I'm not talking about best video game orchestrations, I'm talking about best orchestrations in general. This is coming from a professional composer. When I say music producer on my YouTube channel, I use that term because it's more acclaimed, more understood, but actually what I am professionally is an orchestral composer. I've been making music for movie trailers sometimes and stuff like that. As someone in that line of work, when I listen to the music from Ace Combat like Zero, The Unsung War, The Invasion of Grace Maria, I am given incredible insight. You know, it grants me eyes. That's how big, how beautiful it is. Today, I want to listen to Daredevil, which you guys requested. This is a video requested by some peeps at the Patreon page. Let's go. That's a typical, you know, way in which an epic track would start with some boom and brams like this sound that you hear. Essentially, this is a sound of a bass robot like this. However, it's been distorted and processed and put through a lot of reverb and now it sounds like... Like a very angry bolt in the distance. That's the sound that we heard a lot of times in trailers. It started when Hans Zimmer the composer for Inception used it and everyone was like, oh my god, Angry Boats! And then we started all using it. It's very interesting to hear it in a Japanese soundtrack. By the way, Ace Combat music is made by a guy called Keiki Kobayashi, who's the guy who made the Valkyrie for Final Fantasy VII. The second Western inspiration I hear is this. Now, it's not like Western people invented the arpeggio like this, but this kind of <laughs> reminds me of uh, Greyhound from Swedish House Mafia. Freaking amazing piece of music, so we're already in a good place for me personally. I do like the groove. And it's getting more and more intense. We're ready to dance. Oh yeah! <laughs> Love it. It seems like... Um, it seems like it's building on this idea that I just explained to you and it gets more and more dramatic. What's going on is it sounds more and more epic because they're adding more elements. Before, it was only like low uh, bass trombone, but now we have like French horn. They're doing something like three voices like this. That then goes to like... So it's like they add more and more brass as this goes. But I hope they're gonna do something more interesting. Let's go. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. There's the Ace Combat vibe. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Yes. Oh, shit. Okay, that last chord change I was not expecting. That's the Ace Combat effect. Right when the strings were getting in our bones. So they're literally by design hyping us up with this beautiful orchestration. Nice. So essentially what they did is they picked this idea and then they harmonized it here. And then they harmonized it again. So it kind of gets bigger as the track goes. And then at the end, when it reaches its peak, the brass takes over. So on one side, we have this string arpeggio that is based on the synthesizer arpeggio that is getting higher. And also the brass is like going crazy. And here you have some trumpets doing something like. So not only you have this freaking amazing brass chords that make you feel like Superman. But you also have this complex orchestration underneath that is going to give goosebumps a hundred of times. What are we going to do next? Oh. Oh. No, I was not. I. I was not ready for the feels. I, I, I was not. God damn. That, holy shit, bro. That choir. Like, I'm not talking. This feels like some gladiator type of shit. I'm not talking about the vocals. The vocals are amazing, but the choir underneath that. Oh my God, guys. To make you understand, if we move that choir to solo piano, it's gonna sound something like this. Like, it's so beautiful. Kind of makes me feel that every sin I ever committed in my life is now being absolved by some god or something. Like, we're talking about video game music. What the fuck? It's not allowed to be so good. What the hell? It's so good. And the, the big percussion makes it even more atmospheric. But, but you also have the arpeggio that is still there. And now the epicness surely will come. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Wow. Oh shit. What the fuck? This is some interstellar type of shit. That freaking ravenous like string. When you hear strings doing these sort of fast passages that sound fucking epic in epic music, those are called string ostinatos. And the ostinato in Italian means something that is like hard-headed and will not stop even if you ask it to. That's exactly what the strings are doing. They're bringing the epicness without fucking caring. And also the dun 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 that sound right there, I love it. It's, it must be something like an arpeggiator or some bass that has on delay. So it's not like ta ta, but like, tang 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 tang. You have tang tang something like that, and it sounds more epic for that reason. I think it's layered with the other like orchestras. Like, oh shit, man! Wow! Oh shit! Oh my god! This, see, see, this is what I'm talking about. This game never lets you down in terms of orchestration. What, what we're hearing now is the perfect marriage between orchestra and organic and electronic synthesizers. The, I, my god! I, I would like to break down this passage, but I'm gonna end up spending like, I don't know, 10 hours on this video instead of like doing a quick video like this. So, uh, I just wanna say, this is fucking ballsy. Also, the reason why this sounds so good is that Essentially, when you listen to the end phase here, like it, it's like the same as. The only difference is here it's playing a on a lower string level, lower octaves, while here at the end it's playing on a super high octave. And when you notice that, the, like when you have a sound or a melody like that repeats and gets higher and higher in terms of octaves, it sounds new, it sounds more intense and you just feel that emotional upheaval. Also, the same thing that happened in the intro is happening here with the brass chords that are being more and more open and more epic as the track goes. Like at the end, you really feel that. Like a You're like, oh shit, what's what's gonna happen? As if this wasn't epic enough. I don't think this track can top this moment. It was the, the most craziest shit. But now we have choir. Oh, my god. What the so, choir I'm I'm I, ah, I Oh my god. Oh my god. What was that? I the only thing missing is like that's kind of you know sort of like the chanting. This is reminding me of the Witcher, but like angrier, more epic, more symphonic version. Like I love how fucking rhythmic this track is. Like everything is like it's, it's so cool. And also these parts here. Like, it's like so much, just slam the door three times. And like, oh my God, what the fuck happening? You know, it's, it's, uh, it's like, it takes you by surprise, but it does so with epicness. Because holy shit, in the symphonic orchestra, a female choir like that is one of the most epic instruments you can use. Because of what I explained before, when you have a higher, we play on higher octaves and stuff like that, the sound is gonna be way more dramatic. <laughs> So what is going on right now is that, you know, the sound we heard before, like tonk, tonk, tonk. This sound right here is now part of the climax here at the end, like you hear. So you have that, you have the, the, the stringer patterns and stuff like that. You have the, the solo vocal playing. So now this is a moment where the whole track essentially instructed us to uh, figure out, oh, there's this sound and there's that sound, there's this going on. And now at the end, they're putting them all together. It's like a freaking Megazord. You know, every single Power Ranger you saw is now fusing into this massive robot taking down all kinds of enemies. That's uh, kind of what's going on, but our, the enemy is our ears and <laughs> the Megazord is like just destroying that, destroying them in a very beautiful way. The thing I love, especially in this climax, is how the solo vocal and the choir join forces at a certain point, like here. Right now. Right. 
That's some beautiful shit. That's a fucking unbelievable soundtrack. My God. Just like, I thought it couldn't get more epic. Oh my god, this is like, man, I, I wish Ennio Morricone could listen to this because there must be some Ennio Morricone inspiration here in the choir. It's so fucking amazing. And also the, that chord changed over there. I love that. I mean, I don't know what to say. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I should probably give up the idea of composing more orchestral music because, like, there's people out here doing stuff like this. I'm like, what the, what, what the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? Well, I would recommend everyone to listen to Zero and The Unsung War. I'm probably gonna make videos about those as well because those are amazing. By the way, guys, I would like to talk about Dark Souls music soon. I'm playing Dark Souls on Twitch. I sometimes stream on Monday, sometimes on Wednesday, sometimes on Friday, sometimes all three days. And we reached the part with uh, Ornstein and Smaug and the music is so fucking good. I discovered the Space Jam remix of that one. I'm, I'm like, what? And that one is good also. It's straight fire. I would love to make videos about that. Not, not the Space jam remix about the dark souls music so follow me on twitch if you want to see my live reaction to music when i do stream video games which is yeah, happening often lately but yeah that's all thank you very much guys for submitting this track to me through the patreon request i'm gonna see you in the next video bye bye